Hello and welcome to this easy drum lesson for Yellow by Coldplay. The acoustic guitar riff starts the song, it plays for four bars, and then the drums come in playing this pattern. So just a couple of quick things about that beat. The circles above the hi-hats mean to leave your hi-hats open. Now that doesn't mean you have to take your foot all the way off the pedal. If you just relax your foot, your hi-hats should open up just enough so that when you hit them, you get that nice slushy sound. Now also, if you haven't played that beat ever before, it's going kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. And if you're trying to figure it out, Leaving out the hi-hats and just playing that kick and snare pattern would be an excellent way to start. Just like this. And then the final thing is that there's a crash cymbal right at the start of that beat and then also in the third bar. It's something that can take a little bit of getting used to, but try and just think of it as replacing your first hi-hat. So you're just moving that right hand onto the crash cymbal pretending like it was the first hi-hat and then continuing on with the beat for the rest of the group. So hopefully those are a couple of tips that will make playing that beat a little bit easier so you can get up and running this song in no time. Moving on, we're straight into the verse and this is another pretty straightforward beat. This time, that little circle indicating an open hi-hat just happens in the second bar. So it might be worth just practicing those hi-hats to try and get that sizzle in on the end of four. A little bit like this. That might take a little bit of coordination just to get all of those things lined up. And if you need to break them down into their individual parts, that's absolutely fine and actually a really good way to learn the drums. The other interesting thing about those verses is that they're in six bar phrases. So each verse goes through that loop of two bars on the drums three times for a total of 18 bars in that first verse. Hopefully that's not too confusing and if you don't want to count, you might be able to rely on the lyrics or something like that instead, just so you know when you're going to move into the next section. And speaking of which, we're into a little pre-chorus with the slushy hi-hats again, and it goes like this. So that's essentially just our verse beat, but with open hi-hats, building things up as we move into the chorus. Now for the chorus, we're going to move the right hand over onto the ride cymbal, change the kick pattern just a little bit, and now this is going to lock in really nicely with what's happening in the bass guitar in the song. And this is something that happens on drums all the time, is the kick drum and the bass guitar play similar rhythms to really reinforce and create a really solid foundation for the rest of the song to float on top of. So if you can keep an ear out for that, that's really going to help you to stay in time and really lock in when you're jamming along to this song. Anyway, just slowly, here's the whole of the chorus.
Once again, it's quite a repetitive drum beat, which is excellent for us because we just get to use that same bar over and over again. Just don't forget those crash cymbals every now and again. And then at the end of the chorus, the vocals just float over the top and the drums have a little break. From there, we go back into the riff section at the very start of the song. We go back into the verse, only playing two times through that six bar loop this time. Then we have the pre-chorus again, and then the chorus again, and now we're into the outro. And this is how the drum beat goes for that section. We loop through that four bar section three times, and then to finish the song, it's just a crash cymbal and a kick drum as the vocals carry out the very end of the song. And there you have it. With those four main sections, you'll be able to play Yellow by Coldplay on the drums in no time. If you're just starting out on your journey, this is a great one to look at because it's a nice steady tempo right throughout the song, not too many fills, not too many changes, and hopefully you'll be able to get up and jamming in no time at all. Have a great time with that one, everyone, and I'll see you in the next lesson.